Hello everybody, this is Shotgun's 1000 and Body for Duty, welcoming you back to an episode of Super Mario Odyssey Blind. Last time we started things off in a new kingdom and we was about to start this race, but I stopped it because, well, my brother arrived home. Because I was expecting him to arrive sometime around lunchtime, but I didn't know when exactly he was going to arrive back. So this episode, we're going to retry the race and we're going to officially start this race. So, here we go. Well, God. Yeah. That's what happens when you go off um, the road, by the way. So, this is actually basically what you have to do. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I can also shake the Joy-Con to um, bounce as well. But I find it better using the B button. Well, good. So, yeah, it's first to complete three laps. Right, here we go. Nearly there. Whoa, jeez. And there we go. We win. Yeah, we could have like set a faster lap time, but it doesn't really matter how fast you do it. All that matters is you finish him first and you get the power moon. What a race! You are like a supersonic snowman! Your prize is a multi-moon! And you can actually grab this as Mario. You beat me fair and square. This can't be happening. And there we go, the Bound Ball Grand Prix Multi Moon is ours. And now that we've actually completed that Multi Moon, the blizzard that was happening outside is no longer happening. So we can now see where it is we're wanting to go. Of course, we can actually start off a brand new kingdom immediately, but, well, the sun's out, it's still cold though. So yeah, we want to um, take control of this Typhoo, because um, I think there are certain areas that we can, oh yeah, right over there. You want to take Typhoo all the way over there. Because, there's a little something over there for us. And in case you're wondering, want to know what it is. Um, you will soon see. So, just take the typhoon up there. And there you go, and you can see it's a painting. And guess what it is? It's a painting to the Cascade Kingdom, so let's go in. We'll just skip that cutscene, because we've already seen it. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> so, Island in the Sky. There you go, Secret Path to Fossil Falls. I'm going to drop down. This was a terrible mistake. No, we made it. Let's deposit that one power moon in here. And you notice that... Um, actually, I probably shouldn't have done that just yet. If we jump back up here, there's a shop over here from earlier on. So if we go over there, we can buy ourselves a power moon. Shopping in Fossil Falls. But also, we can get the caveman headwear. I don't think this actually is helpful to us. But I want to show it off anyway. If 
Alright, so we do that. We'll buy the T-Rex sticker, T-Rex model, and the Triceratops trophy. So we've now gotten everything in the purple shop of the Cascade Kingdom. And yeah, that is what the caveman outfit looks like. It's absolutely ridiculous. It even changes Mario's hat as well. I love that. I don't know why it changes Mario's hair. I really don't. Right, so we've done that. So let's now walk back to the island in the sky. And we'll take the warp back to um, Shiveria. Right, there's a moon rock over there, as we all know. Corner of the freezing sea. Set inside here, see what's inside there. And oh no. It's this. Hey dude, you up for a challenge? Everyone loves walking, right? Well, not necessarily everybody, but yeah. If they do get time to do it, then yes. Problem is, most don't take it seriously. Yeah, I know. So trace walking, once again. So the first trace walking we did was in um, the Sand Kingdom, and now we're doing one in the Snow Kingdom. This one is a lot more challenging though, because we've got to walk in a triangle on ice. We've got to score 80 points. Oh god. No. I've automatically failed this. Wait, what? Even though I drew a line right in the middle of the triangle, it still gave it me. It still gave it me. Nice. Wow, okay. Um... I thought you actually lose points if you actually have to restart um, it. Um, we can see that there's a cheat cheap in there, but it's a different colour because it's purple. Main reason why is because, well, we're in an icy area. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Oh, these platforms sink, these platforms sink. Right, Snow Kingdom Timer Challenge 1. Right. Possess this creature quick, otherwise we are going to, um... Well... Yeah. So yeah, you can see that the cheat sheep here is a different colour. It's coloured purple because of the fact that it's really cold in here. And what's actually stupid, there are regional coins to be found under water. I am not joking. Trouble is, I don't think we're in the right area to find it. Uh, oh, great, there's a bunny there. I remember that bunny. I remember that bunny. There's another scarecrow over there. Right, let's um, cross the snowy bit. Oh, there's some regional coins down there. Okay, so we'll grab them. Okay, good. Nothing else around that way. Uh, there's no music playing. I think, um... Is it too quiet? Am I right? Are there actually, um... Oh, no, it's just a power moon. Okay. There are power moons to be found. Oh, oh no, there are regional coins down there. I knew I wasn't going crazy. 
So already we got to find eight more. Um. Well. Hey. Excuse me. Oh jeez. Keep forgetting. The platform sink. What's down over there? Nothing. Okay. That's good to know. Um, there's something over this way though. Hey, it's Captain Toad. It was so good I had to find some shelter, but I got buried in the snow. Luckily, I found a power moon in there. How can you find a power moon in here and then get snowed in? <laughs> wow, what? Look at Mario. Uh, Mario, I think you might need to defrost. Just saying. Um, right, I think there are some other areas I probably might need to explore. Uh, oh, some regional coins over there. Oh, wait, don't tell me. Is this, um... I think you need to get a cheat sheet and then go inside. The oh, no, no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Oh my god. Don't start flashing, thank you. Yeah! I honestly thought the musical nose was going to be um, hovering above water. Taking no snow path dash. Okay. Um, right, so we noticed that there was... Uh, micro power moons to be found around here so I think we're now just gonna try and find them if I know where they are that is which unfortunately I don't right there's one over there being guarded by a typhoon right so let's um, take control with this typhoon and see where we can find them. I saw one over there, so we'll grab that one in a minute. Um, let's see. There might be one up on top, possibly. Oh, hang on. There looks like there's something important over here. So if I, um... Yeah, there is. Okay, so I'll remember that for later. Right, let's take this and ride it up here. Um, no, doesn't look as though there's one up here. Okay. Right, let's take that out. Oh, actually no, I'm not going to rest my um, elbows on the table, otherwise I'll be moving my iPad around again. Uh, right, so there's one more multi-moon to be found. I don't think it's to be found on the water though. I think it's somewhere to be found on the surface. Maybe it's up here. I'm going to say it's up here somewhere. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Seems like it's just coins. Yep, yeah, it's just coins. Right. Uh, the only area that I... Oh, down there, down there. Okay, I think I know where it is now. It's over there. So we just got to make our way over down that way. And it's to be found under one of these. Oh, so I'm actually a regional coin. Is it? Um, okay. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. Come back, bunny. Come back here. Bunny. Bunny. There you go. Ha-ha. Jump by on top of your head. Caught hopping in the snow. To be honest, you don't really find rabbits hopping around in the snow, really. 
There's the fifth and final multi moon. So we got another one. Uh, really? There's Lakitu over there. Um, okay. I do not know why Lakitu is over there, but I'm not complaining much. If he wants to catch some regional fish, then that's fine by me. Uh, let's control this. We can see we got another timer challenge. Right, let's do fast climbing. Gotcha! Timer challenge two. Grabbed it just before the timer ran out. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Keep jumping when you do this, because if you stay in there too long, you will take damage. Trust me. Right, it's backflip up there. Where are you? There you are, you're over there. Okay. Right, let's grab you. Now, let's find the Lakitu and do that one next, and then we'll go over to that area that we discovered with the Typhoon. So, you were located down over that way. Oh, actually. As you know, we'll do that one later. We'll do that one later. Right, let's take control of this um, Chi Chi so we can get over there quicker. There we go. And now, let's um, take control of this Lakitu. So, the big one we need. It's just swimming around the hook. It's just swimming around the hook! Yeah, we're gonna get the little one. Ah, oh, both of them disappeared. No. Right, here's the big one. Oh, damn it. I did that bit too late. Did that bit too late. So we've got three little fish in there now. Here we go. No, not yet. Not yet. There we go. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. There's the power moon. Fishing in the glacier. And the other um, cheat sheets over there, by the way, don't really give you power moves. They just give you either coins or a heart. So, yeah. Let's go down this way now. Because if you um, just reveal this, but you don't go in there, um, that block will actually come back and cover up the um, door. Ooh. Right, I see what this is. This is a Typhoon exclusive challenge. So you got to move the Typhoon around this. And you've got to move this into his rightful place. Right, okay. Oh, I could have just gone around that way, but no matter. There we go. We just got to make ourselves a set of stairs. There we go. There's no regional coins here, by the way. So you can just make yourself a set of stairs. And climb them to grab yourself a power moon. Blowing and sliding. What a good name for a power moon. Right, there's nothing else for us. In fact, we actually can leave this area and then come back in. And you'll have Cappy say um, whether or not we've missed something or not. But I think... Don't matter. Okay, right, let's leave this area. I don't think there's anything else hidden in there. But, yeah. We've got one more thing left to do in here. And then I'll probably decide whether or not I want to... 
leave the area. Even though we've only got about four regional coins still to find. This area right here. You have to leave Cappy there. Yeah. I'm not kidding when I say this, guys. You got to do this area without Cappy. So you basically got to swim in freezing cold water. And then you got to stand on top of this water lift. Ow. Okay, let's get rid of those Goombas. Right. Okay, they didn't have a heart in there. Right, so let's go in here. Oh god. Oh wow. <laughs> that was fast pace hitting. But yeah, when you see a lot of ice cracks on the wall, that means you know that you're in trouble. Um, right. Don't make the entire screen come frosted over because you will be in serious trouble if you do. But right, I'm going to jump over this one real quick because I want to see... Right, there is something hidden over there. Right, let's kill these Goombas. I wish you could do this area with Cappy, because that way we'd actually be able to see what's up there. But unfortunately, I can't... Oh, actually, no, scratch that, scratch that. We can, I think, if we ride this. Yep. There is a power moon there, freezing water near the ceiling. I knew there was something important there. Right, let's jump in the water. Let's do back-to-back -back ground pounds. Or you can just swim outwards to fall down quick. Actually, no, you can't swim down outwards. You have to do a ground pound. Okay, there we go. Jump and swim in the freezing water. There you go. And that's also the end of this, this episode. So, next time on Super Mario Odyssey. We are going to be um, doing one more thing here in Shif um, Shifira. And then we're going to be unlocking a brand new kingdom. Being the Seaside Kingdom. Considering that we had the multipath in the last couple of episodes. See you guys then.